Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing off my new custom server that I created for Powerline.io. So here's the website, it's dollar.a. Um, I've had this domain for a while, I just haven't been using it, so I decided to use it for this. The first thing you're going to notice is there's a server selector. So you can select from all three of the servers that Powerline.io, the main game, have. I also have a custom server. Uh, which is just, uh, I, I, tr I tried to make it as similar to powerline.io as possible. Um, there is a few changes in it, but otherwise it's completely identical. Uh, and then modded, uh, and I'm going to, um, this server isn't active right now, but it should be um, within the next few weeks, um, trying to think of th things to add to it. But if I go into the custom server, you can see it is identical to powerline.io. There is nothing changed about it. Um, I did fee I did change a um, I did fix a few bugs, so it's now impossible to U-turn. Um, so if the game detects you trying to U-turn, uh, like turning in place, if you're lagging or something, then it's not going to let you do it. It's just going to make a really quick turn instead of a U-turn, um, and that's actually a client issue. And I didn't want to modify the client all that much, um, so I I just made the server uh, check that. Now, with the talk options, all of these talk options are the same. I haven't changed those at all. However, if you open the commands palette uh, with the button underneath escape, the tilde button, uh, and you type say, you know, hi or something, it will send a custom chat to all players. Um, just like in the normal chat, it's still, uh, it still messes with the talk stamina and stuff. Um, pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other than the, that change and obviously the, uh, the ping changes um, and the U-turn changes, there's not really much different, um, which is kind of the intention. I didn't want to make a completely different game. I just wanted to make Powerline.io more fun. Um, I, I stopped playing Powerline.io because it's just too laggy. Uh, it's just not fun. It's not, it's not skill-based if you're lagging all the time. Um, it's not computer based, it's server lag um, from, you know, your ping, whatever your ping may be, um, as well as any um, any input delays that are added to the server artificially um, and any just performance lag of the server in general. Um, I'm running this on a pretty powerful server, so it, sh uh, it shouldn't experience any lag unless there's more than 100 players. Um, and I did test that with bots. I tested up to 300 players. Um, I did test 500 and it did show signs of lagging considerably. Um, but up to about 100 to 150 players, there was no lag whatsoever. Um, you, you, you might experience client lag from there just being so many entities on screen. But other than that, no lag. Um, but yeah, I think once... Once people start joining this game and it starts to get uh, really popular, then I then I uh, then I will probably end up releasing the modded server. Uh, if people um, want that. I don't know if that's something that people would want to actually play, rather than you know just a fun, um, lag-free power line experience like this custom server. Uh, but with the server selector, you're also able to go over to the normal server. So I can go into the America server and I can play with all of the people in this server. Um, if I use the say command, it's not gonna do anything uh, since the server doesn't, doesn't understand that. Um, but all of these servers also work fine. If I open the ping over here, you can see my ping is hovering about, what is that, 120 to 150 I'm seeing. Yeah, yeah, 116 to 151 is what it's saying down there. Um, so if I go over to the custom server, let's see what it is in here, if I open that. Um, so it is about 80, it says 81 to 94. Um, the server, I believe the server is hosted in Virginia. Um, I'm using OVH Cloud to host it. I'm also hosting a couple other servers on it, so it's not like um, the server's going to fully to the Powerline server, but obviously the Powerline server doesn't use that much performance. Um, but yeah, uh, you will experience much better ping, even if you're in another country other than the US, um, you will experience 
uh, better ping, I think. Um, I did have a couple people on this testing it out, and uh, they're, they, were they were experiencing much better ping than the normal server, um, even, if, even if they were in Europe. Uh, I don't know where the normal Powerline servers are hosted, and I don't know um, what hosting provider uh, he uses to host those servers, um, but I can guarantee that it's worse than what I'm using. <laughs> Uh, this also has a ton of DDoS protection. I know uh, Powerline has been known to be DDoSed, uh, even though it does use Cloudflare. Um, it, it has been DDoSed occasionally um, using whatever internal APIs um, the game has to, to do turns and stuff. I know, I know that some of those are susceptible to uh, being DDoSed. Or I should say DOSed, uh, not really DDoSed. Um, but yeah, I'll have the link in the description. Um, I might change the um, the URL because uh, I, I, I would probably end up using this um, this domain for something else, but I would probably do like powerline.dallar.a or something. Um, and if you, if you enjoy this server, uh, please just play it. Um, <laughs> the more people that are in it, the more people that will play it. I know it might be boring just playing by yourself, um, but uh, the more people that play it, the more people will uh, get into it. Um, my intention is not really to um, to disrupt normal Powerline servers, but if that's what happens, then that's what happens. Um, I just want Powerline users to have a better experience overall. Um, like I said, the Powerline servers on the main game are just are just way too laggy to play. It's it's um, it's just not fun, and hopefully, I mean. My main hope is that the developer of Powerline.io um, will uh, improve the servers or uh, let me host the servers for him, um, because obviously it, it doesn't seem like he he cares much about the game. Um, there hasn't been really any updates for years and years and years, um, and yeah, <laughs> I think I think I've definitely put a lot more um, uh, a lot more uh, effort into this game mode than he did on uh, on on at least the servers. The client, um, I you know he he spent a lot of time on the client uh, for Brutal Wings and obviously Powerline. Um, so much effort went into that on his side, but with the servers uh, doing all this decompiling is much more effort than he's done in the past ten years on Powerline. Um, but yeah, that's it. See ya.